Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. This is one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. It does seem to be a 4-3-3, Jim. Well, a system promoted by the rise of total football, Peter. The wider players in the front three are, are key operators in how it all works on and off the ball. They have to provide for the central striker, of course, and protect their fullbacks, so they'll get few breathers. If these two don't make a good impression, there are quite good replacements on the bench. And if you did just miss it, they are up and running already. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Plays it out to the flank. Forward it goes. a good finish, the odds were against him, little matter. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. And the shot! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. He's made sure that that won't get through. Hoists it forward. And it's played forward. Back to the keeper and try something new. Hardly anything between the sides. And it's 1-0. Good idea, just poorly executed. That is terrific skill. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. Up towards the front line. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. What a ball, he's had a goal! Alex Santeas gets good distance on it. Done very well to intervene. And 
quickly for a throw. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Chance to cross here. Away from immediate danger. Coming up to half-time, leading, and things are looking pretty good. That's a look and place it in. You can get that clear. Keeps everyone guessing. Plays it out to the wing. A nice touch. Stop from the keeper. Well, that was high class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high class range. Tries to get it forward quickly. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Caps it out. And it's half time here. So there you have it a close sport half of football. But that still had its moments and ultimately produced just one goal. More than decent game up to now. The opinion you'd like to express on the first half? A lead that's fully justified for me. They've shown some excellent counter-attacking now, so it's paying dividends. Leading 1-0 at the break. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? And it's played forward. for the cross and he's there to clear it chance it's broken loose trying to get there still just a single goal between the sides Gets it back. So we've reached the hour mark. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, I'm inclined to feel that if I was in that dugout, I'd want the players to, to get on the front foot and grab another. Just try to, to make this one safe. it out wide hits one oh so close to what would have been a memorable goal he was set on rounding it off in fitting style but he couldn't make it fit Played it short. Played into the middle. Tries a shot! A real chance and a real let off. Well, that's why we all say indecision is fatal. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. Loses his balance and loses the ball.
He's got options out wide. He gets past his man. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Sporting Braga are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. So who's he picking out? Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. And that's been leave it clear. And it's been taken straight back. Steered in. And there goes the final whistle. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny. Just a goal in it. But that was enough. What are your thoughts on today's game?